welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, the perfecting process. Surely there is a vein for the silver and a place for the gold where they find it. Iron is taken out of the earth and brass is molten out of the stone. He setteth an end to darkness and searcheth out all perfection, the stones of darkness and the shadow of death. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Job 28, 1 through 3, Ephesians 4, 11 through 13. I believe one of the greatest revelations a saint of God can receive is the knowledge that once we come into the truth, that our perfecting begins. Our text today says that God has given us pastors, preachers, and teachers for the perfecting of the saints. What is perfecting? It is growing in God. It is growing in the knowledge of His Word. It is growing in the faith. It is understanding our purpose, our power, and our promise. The perfecting of the saints is God working on, through, and with us. In other words, living for God is a continual process of learning and discerning the things of God. As long as we are serving God, we are in the perfecting process. That is why Jesus spent three and a half years of his earthly ministry alongside the disciples teaching them to help bring them into the understanding of his kingdom. And even as great as Jesus was, there were still times the disciples missed the mark. They missed the fact that everything was a test. Everything that Jesus did with them was about perfecting them. It's no different today. We've exchanged the camels for voxes and sandals for clocks, but the mission of God hasn't changed. It is still about the perfecting of the saints of God. The way to test whether or not something can stand and survive, it is to test it under extreme circumstances. Before any car can cross over a newly built bridge, that bridge is tested to the max. Before any 747 takes its first passenger, that plane is put through the most rigorous flight pressure. They don't just test things under perfect condition and say, okay, it will make it. They test things under the worst conditions to make sure that the product, the structure, the object can stand up to the most difficult of situations. The greatest test of our joy is going to come in the greatest loss of our life. The greatest test of our faith is going to come in the darkest hour of our life. The greatest test of our trust in God is going to come in the greatest trial. Job made a connection and recognized that in the midst of his hardship and pain, that he could equate his experience to the most precious stones which are formed and shaped from under the dirt. He made some headway towards solving the riddle of his life, namely, that affliction is to him as the refining fire is to gold. There are times that God must bring us down before he can bring us up. Job felt as though he had lost it all before God restored him. Moses found himself on the backside of the Midian desert before becoming the first pastor of God's people. Joseph was thrown into a pit before saving God's people. Jeremiah wept in a dungeon before restoration came. Paul was knocked off his beast on the road to Damascus and stood up blind before he would write more than half of the New Testament. Jesus was stuck in a borrowed tomb before he could be resurrected and reconciled mankind. God took him to what appeared to be a deep, dark place to help restore him. Just when it looks like we are at our lowest point, just when it seems we are down for the count, God says, now I will bring you up. Just when his friends said, Job, surely you have done wrong. God said, now I will bring you up. The sons that you lost, I will restore. The daughters that you lost, I will restore. The cattle that you lost, I will restore double. Your health that was failing, I will restore. This is the perfecting process. You will get to your darkest before you get to your brightest. I stopped by here to tell somebody this morning, it's your time to shine. Child of God, we don't look like what we've been through. God is perfecting us to save us. Let him work in your life. The thought of the day, 
As long as we are serving God, we are in the perfecting process. God bless you today. In Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. We make a miracle walker, promise keeper, light in the darkness.